Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Neverwinter Nights 2 with the Serene mod. Okay, so... We are pretty much done here in the docks area, at least for now. We're still waiting on... Sting to give us some information about the Razor Gang. We just gotta wait for him, supposedly. But in the meantime, I think what we're gonna do is head back into the uh, Merchant District and head over toward the Park District from there. And see if we can continue on with Jack's quest. I don't, I don't think there's anything else we can do here in the docks. But in the meantime, I did come back down here to the Fiddler's Elbow to finally take a look at this shop that I've been missing. <laughs> yeah, one of these three thieves, and they made note of it too when I was talking to these guys over here a couple episodes ago that the three halflings had a shop set up down here. And I clicked on a couple of them, but I, I don't think I clicked on all three of them, but apparently... This third one that I didn't click on is the one with the shop, so... <laughs> yeah, it's this guy right here. The whole time I've been missing him, so... Yes, mate, before you start asking, there's no discount for you just because you're famous. Also, I only want cash off you, as you might not be around later to pay up. <laughs> I don't even know what you've got yet. All sorts of things, really. Stuff to make your life easier. Other people's harder. Or just to make you last longer. Take a look. All right, then I will. Yes. All right, finally we get to take a look at this shop here. <laughs> Ooh, he's got some high-end stuff here. Belt of Agility plus 6 and 7. 117,000 for that one. 7 Dexterity and Freedom of Movement. That actually might be a decent purchase, though. Hmm. Yes. You have need of me? Yeah, I could possibly put yes. that... On screen, she's got the jeweled belt at the moment, which is charisma, immunity, disease. That's, I'm not too much worried about. It. Uh, fortitude increase and regeneration. Let's see what else is here. Bracers of dexterity six. Hmm. Finch's comforting cloak. What is this thing? Bonus hit points, immunity, to fear, and acid and fire resistance. Hmm. There's some decent things here, and he's got some weapons as well. Looks like lighter weapons. Rapier plus five. Hmm. I might have to come back here later on off camera and take a look at some of this stuff. And let's see what else has he got. A small handful of potions. Amulet of Natural Armor 5 for 24 grand. That is a nice purchase there. Don't we have somebody that's still got a plus yes. four one? Yeah, Peldor. You know what? I'm going to buy that right now. Let's get that on Peldor, get his armor class up to 30. Alright, let's see, what is he maxed out at? Oh, he's on, he's capped at 15,000. Hmm. I might be able to get a better price for this stuff somewhere else if I sell it. Uh, the rest of this stuff I don't really need. Let's see what else he's got. He's got a bunch of traps. Alright, I might come back here later on. To buy some of this stuff, especially that belt of agility. I have over 431,000. I'll figure that out off camera. Alright, in the meantime, let's get out of here. Alright, so like I said, I think I'm going to head back up to the merchant quarter and deal with Jack's quest. Now, there's another merchant that's right up here. I want to take a quick look at him and see what he'll pay. If he's going to pay a lot more, then I'm going to sell it to this guy here, Mr. Fletcher. Let's see what he's got here. Alright. Ah. Kicked me out. Yes. Alright, what is he paying? Oh yeah, he's definitely paying a hell of a lot more. Look at this, I can get over 17000 for that, that amulet. Let's sell that now. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to sell while we're here? Yeah, I want to keep those blades. Let's see, Sam's sword and Karina's sword. We're going to hold on to those. The rest of the stuff I'm going to hold on to yes. here. Alright, the scimitar plus four can go. The greatsword plus four can go. I'm going to keep my uh, blunt weapons. The icy blade can go. And the rest of that stuff I think I'm going to keep. Yes. Alright, we won't be able to get anything for these uh, unique swords right here, so let's just keep them. Let's put them in our bag of holding with the other items that we can't sell. 
Yeah, this guy was just selling high-end armor, but it's nothing that we can use. All right, so let's get out of here. All right, out we go. Oh, and a hooker. I'm glad I found you, Peldor. I seem to have that effect on some people. <laughs> Perhaps you do, my dear, but I have a message for you from Sting. Oh, here we go. What is it? He wants you to meet him in one of the warehouses near here. Do you know what it's about? Something about a deal with a gang. He said it's important. I've got to go now. Time is money. All right, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I guess we're going to stay here. Yeah, there was a warehouse back here that we couldn't get in earlier. Yeah, it looks like it's open now. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't buff up a little bit in case this is... This is some shenanigans going on here. Because we did get a little bit of a warning, I think, from... What was his name? Kelly? That Sting might not be on the up and up. So, let's just go ahead and put up... Our long duration stuff for now. And let's see. Let's get some improved mage armor going on. And we can get some stone skin up too, I guess. Alright, all our medium duration stuff though, let's hold off on that. Let's see what's going on in here first. Alright, other than that, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, there's no new map pins. This is the only one here to warehouse. Alright. Let's wait for these stone cans to come up, and then we can go inside. Alright, let's go. Alright, the warehouse. Ooh, there's a bunch of people in here. There's Sting. Harriet's in there. Oh, he's got some razors with him. Yeah, I bet this is going to be some shenanigans going on here. There's some thugs back there with him, too. Hmm... You know what? Let's put up shield and mirror image. Now my shields that are on my brooch, so I think I'm gonna hold off on them because them don't last very long. Uh, what else can we put up? That's probably gonna be fine for now. All right, let's go see if something's gonna happen here. Let's take a look at a map. How big is this area? Okay, it's not too big. Let's go see what's gonna happen. And Jack just said something. I don't like to look at this one bit. Yeah. Alright. What is in the crates? Ammunition and a bunch of traps and some poison. Hm. Well, yes. hell, let's grab that stuff. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. Ooh, we had an autosave too. Peldor of Alm. I'm so glad you could make it. Do you do a lot of adventuring? What's this all about? Do you do a lot of adventuring? You know, magic, dungeons, treasure, things like that? What do you want to know? Because it might explain what happened to your ears. All those fireballs exploding around you. I think they've made you deaf. <laughs> I don't think so. I can hear you clear enough right now. But you couldn't earlier when I told you to keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. Oh yeah, he's definitely going to backstab us. You've caused me a lot of problems. So many that I don't know what to do with you now. I do, my dear. Cut his throat out and take the body to Aaron. Forget about your plan. It's over now. Just kill him. I'll bear that in mind, my dear. Look at this place, Peldor. This is what it's all about. Not the horrors or the protection rackets. This place. Whoever controls what goes in and out of the docks is a rich man. And that man is me. The rest, the killings, beatings, and threats, although quite entertaining, they are mainly to ensure nobody tries to make trouble with my business. You have caused me great trouble, Peldor. My grip fear on this place has been loosened by you. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> you will, if I give the word. But be very careful, Peldor. My razors have been waiting to slice you into little pieces for quite some time now. I've been the one that's kept you alive, as I thought it would help me. Join us, and you will be forgiven. Yeah. Help you and your little gang? You must be joking. Just as I thought. We should have killed you when I first saw you, and carried on with our lives. Instead of which, I've had to deal with all these problems. 
So all that stuff about helping out a friend's friend was all lies? Of course it was. But it kept a lot of people off your backs talking about the ghosts. But I'm sure they were more scared of me anyway. I know who you're after, and your killing them would have served me well, but now you have become a liability. That's a shame, isn't it? And I thought we were going to get on so well. If your friends come looking around for you, I'll tell them I tried my best, but couldn't be everywhere all the time. Such a shame you died. Never mind. I'm sure they'll understand. Why do you think we're here now? No witnesses, of course. I was close with your ghostly friends once, but they lost their touch. Especially that thieving little hobbit. She was the one who let her emotions get the better of her, so they don't worry me now. Their time is finished. I'll tell them that when I see them next. No need to, Peldor. The thieving little hobbit heard it. If you don't want witnesses, you shouldn't leave windows open, Sting. Very sloppy indeed. You disappoint me, Sting. I thought you'd take care of my friends, but now you want to kill them. And one more thing. Don't talk about my wife like that. It upsets her. I'm sure you wouldn't want her emotions getting the better of her now, would you? All right, yeah, these are the... These are... What is the name? Allard and... Damn, what's her name? Amber, I think, from the uh, tavern from our hometown. <laughs> I don't believe it. How long have you both been here in Budang? Long enough to see what an ex, soon-to-be-dead friend of mine has been doing, and long enough to realize a couple of our real friends might need some assistance removing some rubbish from the dock area. We'll talk later, Peldor, shall we? It would be a pleasure. Wait a minute. Before we all go hacking each other to pieces. Is the big boss having second thoughts now the odds are more fair? Oh dear. Shut the fuck up, Sting. You've caused enough death and suffering around here, so at least die like a man. We'll talk later, Peldor. You always did have a way with words, Amber. Okay. Yep, Amber and Allard. They're gonna come and save the day, huh? All right, we need to start putting up some more buffs here. We should probably get some haste going on. Let's drop that in there. And Serene, you know what? Let's get the Sly Blade out. And let's get some displacement going on. And let's see, what else can we put up? I guess we can just start hitting Sting. Let's unequip the Sly Blade. Alright, let's go back to Jack. Where is he at in this mess here? I need to make sure we're getting some sneak attacks in here. Yeah, Sting's right there. Oh, did we just take him off? Yep, Sting's dead. Alright, let's maneuver. Let's get the Razor dead. Alright. We don't have that blade equipped, do we? No, we do not. All right, let's go back to Jack. And let's take this one out next. All right, we're still doing all right. Allard's taking some damage. We got some slow coming in. All right, who's next? Little razor right there. All right, we're still doing okay. All right, let's get over here now. Get this thug dead. Wow, we hacked these guys up pretty damn good, huh? Is that the last of them? It looks like it is. Alright, before we start talking to Allard and Amber, let's see what's on the dead guys. Sting has the lucky one, which is a short sword plus four, improved evasion, and it does poisoning. And the neck knife. Short sword plus five extra piercing and vampiric regeneration. That's not a bad blade either. Let's grab all that stuff. And Harriet. A rapier plus four. Let's grab all that. Alright, and what is back here? Yeah, this is where Amber and Allard came from, I think. Alright, what's on the desk? Some gold and a note. 
They're nothing but trouble. Prepare the warehouse for their execution, but only use our most trusted members. If word of this gets out, there could be problems. I already have a couple of our friendly fishermen who will find the bodies later in the sea, so we'll still get the reward. Tell the guards to lock the doors as soon as they enter, as the only way the bastards will leave is in a box. Signed, Sting. <laughs> no need to keep that. Alright. Yep, Allard and them hacked these guys up coming in through the windows, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, speaking of those guys, let's see, did they say anything? So, Peldor. Rather be back home having a coconut wine, would you? There's plenty of time for that. And it's good to see you both again, but aren't ghosts supposed to be invisible? <laughs> Do we look like ghosts to you, Peldor? We're real, and that was just what other people called us. Be good, though, walking through walls. It would certainly make it a lot easier, no fumbling with our key in the dark. Amber, I can't believe it's really you. I've missed you so much, and now here you are in Budang. And you too, Joe. I hope you brought me a bottle of coconut wine. And where's your mustache? Yes, Joe, you look ten years younger. I'll bet it was Amber's idea. <laughs> it was. We're not the only ones who've changed, are we, Serene? I know it's you. I can feel you and hear you. But could you get me a body like that, please? I could really do with a change. <laughs> I'll ask Aaron for you when I see him. <laughs> You hang on to what you've got, my dear. I'm quite happy with the way you are, thanks. But I must admit, Serene got off quite lightly, though. What if they'd swapped her off with a troll? <laughs> no thanks. I'm getting used to this body, and it's still weird looking in a mirror. But imagine a troll looking back at you. I'd rather be me again, but the old Serene is rotting in a crypt right now. Oh, Amber, you wouldn't believe what they did to me. I know, my dear. I can only imagine, but it must have been hell. You didn't deserve this, and as soon as we heard, that was when our bags were packed, and we started to strike back at the bastards. Thanks for the help, but how did you know? It was your body's mother, Serene. She came to the tavern one night and told us all about it. Your mother and her, they're total opposites, but... They got on so well, you'd think they were sisters. United by a common enemy as well as a common daughter, I suppose. Who are you calling common, Peldor? Seriously, though, you two thanks for helping us. I still can't believe you're really here. We've heard all sorts of things about what you used to get up to. You never struck me as a cold-blooded killers. Dangerous yet, but not assassins. I know what you mean. My parents. Now they're what I always imagined the ghost to be like. I was scared of you two when I was a little, but now I wish I'd met you earlier. It could have saved me a lot of sleepless nights. I'll take that as a compliment. You must be Jack, and I'm glad we've finally met. We've heard all about you and how you've helped our friends here. For that, we thank you, and you will always have our loyalty. Bet you never thought that would happen as you lay quaking in your bed at night. No, I didn't. So, is it really true about you killing an emperor and all his guards? Come on, Joe, you can tell us. I suppose it's not as if we have a secret now, is it? And yes, it is true. The bastard tricked us and sent us to kill an innocent woman. Amber killed him and most of the guards. I was just watching her back and working out how to escape. He deserved it, and I was in a bad mood. <laughs> That's one hell of a bad mood. I've certainly never seen one like it, and that includes from your mother. I killed this woman, but as we left, I found a note she had just written to the Emperor. They were lovers, and she was pregnant. He thought it would cause a scandal, so had told us she was an assassin who was planning to kill him. Worse than that, the note was a goodbye note from her as she was leaving the country to protect him. I struck the note to his head with my knife.
That's all right, so have we. <laughs> I'd do it again, though, without hesitation. I got stabbed in the stomach when I was younger, and I can never have children. So that's why I really lost it with that bastard. I still hate him for what he tricked us to do, even though he's dead. I'm going to kill Aaron Tuco for all the suffering he's caused, and I wouldn't mind sticking something to his head with a knife. But somehow, I don't think we'll be able to walk straight up to him. No, it could be a bit of a problem, but with his lack of trust and hatred for us. You'll get him. We're sorry to say, though, my friends, that we will not be attending his last hours on this world. We have to leave quite soon. Why is that? We have to disappear again. Believe me, it's best for everybody. If we could stay, we would, but it's impossible. An army arriving here looking for us would just add to the mess. Fair enough. If you need a boat, there's an old pirate friend of yours running the sunken chest tavern here in the docks. Gotta be Kelly. I thought we passed his ship when we arrived. I think we'll have to pay him a visit before we leave, my dear. When you do, tell him what happened here, will you? He'd been having trouble with Sting's gang. No problem, Peldor. Now, you three should get out of here, too. There's gonna be a lot of bounty hunters and ex-gang members looking for you now. So, is this goodbye, then? Yes, this is goodbye from the ghosts. And we wish you all well and the best of luck. Trust me, though. Don't be sad, whatever you hear. You're getting cryptic like Gina now, Amber. But don't worry, we won't. You know what's best, I'm sure. Before we leave, one last thing, Peldor. I've seen how you two look at each other. So, are you and Serene... Well, you know. Yes. At last, congratulations. You know she's always loved you. In fact, everybody knew except you. We could always see it, so one good thing comes out of all this is that it brought you two together. It sounds like everybody knew a lot of things about me that I didn't. I'm so pleased for you both. You can tell me all about it later, Serene. So even though this is officially goodbye, I assure you we will talk later, my dear. Stay alive, my friends. That was the plan. Amber, Joe, it's been really good to see you both again. But next time, as Serene said, bring some coconut wine. <laughs> All right. And they're gone. They must have just went out the windows. <laughs> okay. So, I don't think there's anything else in here. All right, we just picked up a 500 experience points. And we got everything out of those crates. Alright, was there a journal update? Yep, this one's done now. With the help of Amber and Joe, you killed Sting, the leader of the Razors. They're going to pay a surprise visit to Kelly and tell him the good news. They'll be leaving Budang and have wished you luck on your mission. Hmm, maybe we should go up there and see Kelly too. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do a quick rest. Now, I'm suspecting uh, we're probably going to get attacked by <laughs> some of the gang members outside. So, I'm going to go ahead and buff up again. I'll be right back. Alright, all buffed up. I didn't put up all my medium duration stuff, but my long duration stuff and some of my medium duration stuff is up. But Let's go see what's even going to be out here. Oh yeah. Yep. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's spread out here a little bit. We're all kind of piled up in here. Uh, Pelor, can you get out of there? Yeah, back up. Alright, let's get these guys. They're going right for Peldor. Let's get them guys Alright, they seem to be confused a little bit. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack in here somewhere. Alright, forget him. He's walking off. This guy's coming back. Let's see if we can take his ass out. Get him! Alright, any more? No goodies. Alright, let's see. I wonder if we should go inside... Oh, here's some more bad guys. Yeah, maybe we should go up inside the Fiddler's Elbow, too. I wonder if they'll attack us if we go in there. Maybe we'll get experience points for freeing all the hookers in there. <laughs> Anyways, let's deal with these gang members next. Can 
maneuver for a sneak attack in here somewhere. Take that guy out. Do some nice damage with them blades. Alright, those guys are dead. Any remains? Doesn't look like it. Alright, you know what? While we're down here, let's just go see what's going to happen if we do go inside the Fiddlers. I'm guessing there's going to be a fight. <laughs> oh! Yep, there is. Not everybody, though. Is this a rogues and a half orcs? Alright. Let's fight. Let's maneuver. Oh, this guy's going for Peldor. Let's get him. Come on, get him. Right, let's get this guy dead here. We're still in one piece. We're looking pretty damn good yet. Let's this guy's gonna follow us over here. Let's just fight him then. Okay. Let's talk to Jonas. Yes. You bastards killing my customers? Go on, get out! <laughs> Alright, these guys see anything? Remind me not to upset you. Alright, and I guess nobody else cares, huh? This hooker give a damn back here? Looks like we might get a bit of time off tonight. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're definitely going to get some time off, huh? Alright, let's talk yeah. to everybody and make sure there's Something nothing we're missing here. Alright. Well, life goes on, unless you're a razor. So, are you back to do some more business? Uh, not at the moment. We mi I might come back to him later on. Yeah, I do want to do some other shopping. Uh, let's see. Let's get out of here. Alright, now let's go up here. To the sunken chest. I guess we can check out the Laughing Captain, too. I don't know if they were with the Razor Gang or not, but... Let's just check it out anyways. Might be something worth... Oh, there's some bad guys right there. Yep, some gang members. Alright, hang on. Let's get... These guys forward. Sneak attack. Right, one more left. We got a celestial bear with us. Alright, that looks like all of them here. Let's go inside. The laughing captain, yep. Looks like we got us some bad guys, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's see if we can get a sneak attack on this guy over here. And one more. All right. You have need of me. These guys saying, "Let's talk to Madam Joy." What the hell do you think you're doing in my tavern? I presume this has got something to do with what I heard about Sting being dead. Hmm, I wonder if his girls will work for me now. Tell you what, Peldor, I'll let you have a girl for free just to say thank you. Do what you want with her, but try to bring her back in one piece. <laughs> Somebody should wipe that smile off your face, Madam Misery. Nobody's going to stop you, Serene. Except for me, that is. Get out of my tavern, you self-righteous, silly little girl, before I have you thrown out. That was probably the stupidest thing you ever said. <laughs> oh, she's actually going to fight us, huh? Damn. <laughs> All right. Hmm, hopefully she's got something decent on her. A bunch of gems, diamonds, and some jewelry. Let's take it all. All right. I want nothing to do with her. Uh, let's see, Anna. Let's see if she says anything. I guess I'm in charge now. I'm the only one that knows about the orders and paperwork. Thanks for killing that horrible bitch. Things are going to be changing around here. <laughs> Things like what? I don't know, but 
I don't see why we can't just be a normal tavern with the prettiest barmaids and dancers. Something like that. A fun place to drink. That certainly sounds like a good plan. <laughs> and no more sending girls off to the perverts. We make good money over the bar, and most of the rest just went to her, so we'll be no worse off. If I get home, I'll send you a box of the finest coconut wine as a good luck gift. <laughs> Deliver it personally, and it would be my pleasure to share some with you. What's your name? You're not from Madani, so you're not Lady Karina like everybody says you are. How do you know she's not from Madani? I've been past there and there's no way a lady from Madani wants coconut wine or gets some from her home in the desert. You should become a detective if you get fed up with tavern life. <laughs> Can I get a drink while this is all going on? <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't already. I'm Serene from Marintree. And I hope I'll deliver your box of wine one day and get to see what you've done to this place. We're going to have a busy schedule when this is over. But a fun one. Good luck, Anna. I hope to see you soon. Me too. And say hello to Marintree for me, Serene. I've been there, you know, when I was traveling around. It's a good place and nobody seems to care that I was drow, unlike here. You soon change your opinions, I'm sure. Come on, we better leave before Jack gets glued to the bar stool. <laughs> Alright, another hundred experience points, good. Anything else? Uh, no. Alright, any of these hookers got anything to say? Nothing special. Wow, you killed my boss, thank you. <laughs> Alright, these guys got nothing to say, and the guard. She never paid me enough to try to stop you. Serve the bitch right. <laughs> Oh, this one's got something to say. You killed everyone! Hardly everyone. Look around. Everyone that owed me? I'm free and out of here! Oh, alright then. Bye. <laughs> 100 experience points. Alright, and... Let's see. These guys got anything to say? Alright, that's it. Let's get out of here. Alright, onward. Up to the sunken chest. I'm figuring there's going to be some fighting somewhere around here, too. Not inside here, I don't expect that, but... Alright, nobody's jumping us. And let's talk to Alice. Thanks, Paldor. We'll be putting to sea as soon as the dust settles. If you ever need us to help you, let me know. My ship will always be at your service. I'll bear that in mind, Captain Alice. Thanks, and happy travels to you all. They'll be happy, alright. It'll be nice to see the back of this place and feel the wind in our sails. I can hardly wait. We'll keep popping in to see the captain, though, just to make sure he's behaving. Good luck, you three. Thanks. We'll see you around, no doubt. All right, let's talk to Kelly. Peldor, just a man I wanted to see. I hung these boots up a long time ago when I came here, and I think you should have them. I hope they serve you well. Thanks, Kelly. It was a pleasure. Don't worry. I gave him a good clean. You're always welcome around here, Peldor. I just saw your two ghostly mates, and they told me everything. They said they'll be back later and did another disappearing act. I think it's time we did one, too. We'll see you later, Kelly. Alright. Got 100 experience points, and he just gave us something called sea legs. What is that? A set of boots. Ooh, plus five dodge modifier. Constitution plus six. Immunity to knockdown and reflex plus five. Ooh, that is a nice set of boots. I currently got a boots of hardiness plus three. On Peldor and Serene. She's got... Yeah, the boots of Sun Soul five. I don't know if I want to give these up. These are good boots, too. Yes. And Jack has the Sun Soul plus four boots. Those are good boots, too, so... You have need of me? The weakest ones we have is these Boots of Hardiness plus three, so let's go ahead and swap them out on Peldor. That's going to get his armor class up. Constitution is now up to... by plus six. Did that actually go up? Yep. And immunity to knockdown and reflex plus five. Very nice. Yeah, we can sell those boots. All right, I'm glad I came up here. Does yes. Kelly say anything else? No. And Christine... Thanks for everything, Paldor. I'll sleep well tonight. Good luck, mate. And Simmy. Well 
Greetings, heroes. You must excuse me, I am still composing your story. Fascinating. Hm. Alright. And... Oh yeah, we should go upstairs, too. Let's see what Yvonne has to say now. Anything new? I can't believe what you've done. On behalf of everyone, those bastards have hurt. I thank you all. Alright. There's nothing else up here, was there? Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. Now, let's walk down this street just to make sure there's nothing else down here that we missed. Alright, I just got done checking down here by the uh, blacksmith. There's nothing going on over there. And I checked this whole area up here on the upper tier as well. And there's nothing interesting going on there. So let's go down here just to make sure there's nothing and then we're going to get out of here. Head back to the merchant quarter. Oh. Oh, the pimp just went hostile. Let's get his ass. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Jack. Oh, yeah. He's going to go down quick. It looks like. All right. 58 experience points. All right, hookers. I will lead now. You guys got anything to say? No. Nope. Let's see, are we still... Let's talk to him now. Nope, they got nothing. Alright, let's keep going. And these are those guys we killed before. He just had a note on him. And these guys don't have anything. That's that corpse hanging there. just the rat people over here. I don't see any bad guys, though. Let's talk to the rat folks. Yes. See if they might say yes. anything new now. And no, they don't. Alright. I don't think there's anything else here that we need to deal with. So, let's go back. Oh yeah, our disguises. Ooh, I'm glad he put that reminder there. <laughs> I would have walked right in there without our disguises. I bet everybody would have attacked us too. Alright, let's put our disguises yes. back on. And one more. Alright, back to the market. Alright, here we are back in the merchant district. I think what I'm going to do is make a quick round again through all the merchants and see if there's anything else I could possibly buy. Yeah, we have over... we have a half a million. <laughs> so I might as well spend this money on something. I know that... what's her, her name? Miss Nimbles over here had some really nice cloaks. I'm gonna take a second look at them and see if maybe I should purchase one of them. And I might actually go back to the docks and buy some of those other items too, but I'm gonna do this all off camera. I'll see you in a moment. All right, all done doing some shopping. I did end up buying that Nimble Cloak of Battle. I put that on Peldor for a moment. There's a plus five deflection, increase to charisma, which I'm not too much worried about. There is a plus four to strength, and there's regeneration plus two. Unfortunately, I already got an item that does strength boost, which is this uh, Fire Giant strength, and this one's actually plus five. I was going to end up... I was thinking yes. about moving it to one of these other guys, but everybody else still has... A lot of dexterity and uh, strength increasing things too. So I, I still got to think about how I want to do this. Yes. I might want to move some equipment around. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I did end up going back down to the docks too. And I was going to buy that belt uh, with high dexterity and freedom of movement. And I was thinking, you know what? It's only giving me like a plus one dexterity. And it, it would make it an odd number. So it seemed like it would be a waste. But I don't know. The only thing I purchased was that cloak for now. I might yes. decide to go back down there again. <laughs> but for now, that's all we're dealing with. Uh, I still have over 486,000, so it's not like I can't afford some more magic items. But right now, to be honest, the things that we currently have are good. I got a lot of good magic items, and I really don't need to buy that other stuff. But anyways, we are now over here by the golem that's currently guarding this gate. But we are running up on time, and we'll deal with that uh, golem in the next episode. So we'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen.